What's up dudes, Chooch, out here on the InMotion V12 High Torque, giving this thing a little rip around and really loving it guys. This this wheel has been phenomenal and I've really been riding it a lot. I want to give y'all a breakdown, talk about some few things, tell you what's up with this thing. Um, Pre-orders are available for this wheel and they're going to be coming out for the next batch soon guys. I know there's been a lot of a lot of hype for this wheel and a lot of people have been going at it but next batch is coming out soon and it's gonna be coming out towards the middle of may so if you put in your pre-orders now it's not gonna be but like a week week and a half before you get these things in and shipped out to you so uh for the high torque or the high speed models they're gonna be coming in soon so don't be afraid to, to order them. anyways ripping this thing around in the bike parks in the skateboard parks really loving that low end torque for the chumps guys for the technical little tail whips that boosting off the small little kickers all the technical stuff like in skate parks bike parks all that is so much fun on a high torque wheel now i think this wheel is going to be great for a, a low weight rider like this uh like for, for me whenever i want to go in and ride and hit little jumps like this that low end torque is incredible like there's no other wheel that you can just go in to such big jumps. I know then like big jumps right here, but still it's really low speed that you're going in and then at the last second, like I say, like that right there is actually, that's a pretty big gap right there to cover. And that is showing where the torque really comes into play with this wheel. And it is no joke. Like they really made this a high torque wheel. And it, it responds in the craziest way. Whenever you roll into a situation where you need to rely on that torque or whenever you're trying to just boost off the jump or either, I mean, if you take this up an underpass, anything like that, guys, or up a trail where it is like steep, I mean, really steep trail, it has no problem. It is awesome. I really like that about this wheel. And I'm starting to understand you know where i can use the torque at and where it's it's more fun to ride this wheel for sure and i, I i'm loving it i love the tire on it and i love the fact that i can run a lower air pressure in this thing and not worry about denting my rim because of the up, up upgraded rim of course so the new one's coming out in may i'm pretty sure that the high speed and the high torque are going to have all of the upgrades i think the the high speed and the high torque are going to have the upgraded rim and um upgraded mosfets that they came out with and everything the same that this one has this is one of the newest ones right here and i'm pretty sure the high speed and high torque will both have the upgrades making it you know the new wheel so if you just want to go with the high speed i think it's going to have the upgraded rim and the upgraded mosfets also so um don't worry about that and if you're if you know this information and you're from one of the companies or whatever please put below like if i'm wrong on that because I, I want people to know like if i'm wrong about that and it's just the high torque one that has the upgraded wow. rim check out, how, like, check out the braking improvement i'm talking about the braking right here the braking on the high torque is insane guys it is wild crazy, check that out dude. that thing will slam on brakes dog so definitely if you want a wheel that will stop quick man the high torque v12 if you lean back you can make this thing almost skid on the brakes but like i was saying if, if you guys know in the comp please put in the comments if you actually know the information if the new high speed one that is coming out this month because the shipment is coming in right now guys if you pre-order these things the shipment's going to be coming in in the next week or two weeks for the, both the high speed and high torque the new upgraded ones so um definitely um put below if you know that information it'd be really helpful to a lot of people because i really don't even know so some of the key specs for this thing guys it's a 100.8 volt wheel it is 100 volt wheel and the 16 inch form factor it is a fast snappy wheel for sure it is it has a 1750 watt hour battery i'd say that is right there in the sweet spot of not being too heavy and not being too bulky of a wheel you see how slim this thing is and the form factor that's what i love about this wheel i mean it really is a 
a lot easier to work with wheel once you're taking it in places once you're getting off of it once you have it in the office etc this thing is like i mean it is like a irobot roomba vacuum cleaner that you just push around standing upright it seriously is slim the form factor is awesome with this wheel and you don't have suspension in there that's pushing it up higher and making it even bigger and more top heavy this thing is the form factor on this thing is great like seriously you cannot beat it like that's one of the top things about this um you know they make those folding e-bikes e-scooters out there everything this is you don't have to fold anything up you just literally just roll this thing in with that great trailer handle on top it looks elegant refined and the form factor is one of the top selling points on this thing i mean out of a, a rating of you know one to ten this thing gets a 15 in form factor because that is just what blows it out of the park and then add in there the fact that you can go um a, a lot of miles on this thing i mean depending on how you ride it guys i'd say you could get so i rode the other day where i mean i i probably rode 40 two miles on one charge on this and it was up at extreme elevation changes and i was really kind of taking it easy just going on a long range ride but i had a backpack loaded down i had my camping gear in there so i had an extra 30 pounds guys and so i was about i had 170 pounds and i rode about 42 miles on it so that's the range you can expect anyways um that's just the biggest selling point of this thing form factor how fast you can go how small it is and the range you can get is pretty pretty daggum good so that's that's huge with this wheel and it's a 2500 watt motor guys which is the same motor as the veteran sherman in this thing um that's with the high speed one so i mean you're getting a speedy wheel seriously 43 miles an hour i even raced this wheel at apple valley i chose to race it because you can hit a very high speed very quick the acceleration is very snappy and the pedals you can raise them up you have four adjustments for the pedals along the side so you can start with them low learn where your center of gravity is a lot lower and you're not going to be as squirrely and then you can raise them over time and get to where you can dive into your corners better so you can really wrench into your corners guys with the v12 because those pedals are up so high and that last setting and that makes it a good wheel to race on like go-kart tracks for any type of tight tracks or anything like that this wheel is going to win and it is simply because of those high pedals now for a actual street racing track where there's car or you can take cars on it it's pushing it because you you know a higher speed wheel out there or a 20 inch wheel might be a little bit better but for indoor races where they do all those um, e-skate races and stuff on go-kart tracks, I am itching to race this thing on one of those tracks. I think it would just dominate. So just, it is super nimble. Both the high speed and the high torque are super, super fast in acceleration. And the high speed one has the 2,500 watt motor, 43.5 mile an hour top speed, and the high torque one has a 2800 watt motor so it has a you know higher wattage motor in it definitely insane 2800 watt motor is ridiculous guys to be putting in one of these electric unicycles i mean that is that's a, gnar a gnarly motor in one of these wheels and then that can go 38 miles an hour top speed guys so you're on the high torque you are limited in speed I'm telling you guys that torque is crazy. I mean, you can definitely tell the difference in the two wheels. And it's really hard to pick which one I would go with. Um, I mean, I, I, I would literally just kind of pick it by your environment. If you live somewhere where you have a lot of elevation change, go with the high torque. If you live somewhere flat, go with the high speed. Basically the best way to put it, honestly. Whether it be if you live in a city or whether you live, you know, in a place where you got mountains and trails and all that stuff as well. Uh, just kind of pick you know if it's predominantly flat get your high speed wheel if it's predominantly uh, a lot of elevation change get the high torque so that's kind of how i would roll with that and determine how to how to pick the two but you can jump with this thing commute with this thing um, pretty much do anything you'd want to do group you have enough range for group rides and it is in that sweet spot for the 
price point. Now you don't have suspension on this wheel, so you're going to have to find what tire pressure works for you without running it too low. I like about 25 PSI in this. Now that is on the very low end, and I am being careful with it, not to really, you know, spike down stair sets or anything like that. But 25 PSI is what I like, and I weigh about 135 pounds. So increase from there. If you weigh like 170, 180, really like typical person riding these things, I'd roll about 30 PSI. Honestly, I'd roll about 31, 32 PSI. You should be good. But I, I love it. I don't think you can go wrong with this wheel. Um, the high torque, I think, is going to be a, a big seller from in motion. You can place your deposits below. Because this wheel is going to be coming out so soon, um, you, they have $500 deposits open, and it should be shipping out within the next two weeks if you want to pick up either one, the high speed or the high torque. But anyways, dudes, going to rip around for a few more minutes on this thing, check out some jumps, ride around the bike park, and I'll see you dudes in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.